you've ever been to Korean barbecue, you know how much fun it is. It's all about bringing everyone together. You can cook in the middle of the table and assemble your dish. You can also recreate this experience at home if you've got a flat plate that goes in the middle of the table. Now, first we need to make a marinade for the meats. I'm gonna keep it kind of traditional using some steak and some pork belly that I've cut really thin. Now, in a Korean marinade, nashi pear is used. You can use apple for this or pear works nicely. This imparts a sweetness and it also tenderizes the meat. So in a small little food processor, I'm going to add some sesame oil. And I like a generous amount of sesame oil. Along with some soy sauce, some light soy sauce. We want about a tablespoon of soy sauce. And this is the secret ingredient to this marinade, gochujang. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's essentially a Korean fermented chilli paste. It is divine. It's got a real delicious depth of flavour to it. Now, you can get it at all good Asian grocers. I've even seen it at some supermarkets now, so it's getting really popular. Now, we want a generous tablespoon of that into our food processor. And a good hit of ginger, and I'll just grate that quite roughly because we'll let the food processor do the rest of the mincing. And that's a large handful, but that's the way I like it. You can put a little less in if you don't like the ginger flavour. And then this nashi pear, I'm not peeling the nashi pear. I'm just going to grate it coarsely, just like our ginger. Okay, now we'll place all of those ingredients together and then we'll pop the lid on. Now we're going to blitz this until it's a really fine puree. All right, look at that rich, deep colour. You know <laughs> that this is going to be absolutely delicious. I'm going to have a smell. Mmm, it's that perfect combination of sesame oil and the chilli and the sweetness from the nashi. Love it. Now for our rump steak. I've got a nice lean piece here, about 200 grams. And we'll take it out of the pack. I'm going to cut it into thin slices. This is all about really fast cooking at the table. So nice thin strips and we'll pop that into a bowl. And I'll add half of this marinade to the pork belly, which I've thinly sliced. I've left the fat on it and also the rind. And then the other half onto our beef. We'll just give that a mix. And also the pork, just smear it over and just allow this to marinate for at least half an hour. You can even do this the night before if you are super prepared. All right, I'm gonna let that marinate. I'm gonna get some of my condiments ready. When it comes to Korean barbecue, you want things like kimchi, spring onions, rice and butter lettuce cups to put it all together. Okay, the meat has marinated and I've got all of my little sides ready to go. I've also preheated my power grill. This power grill has a flat side and a griddled side, which is perfect because what I'm going to do is use the flat side to cook the pork and then the griddled side to char grill my spring onions and the meat. And I'm first going to add my spring onions. Now I'm going to just cut them in half so they cook quite quickly. I'll just do three for this. And then we'll pop them on the grill as is. See, we've got a nice little sizzle there. That's what we're looking for. And because this is such a large, wide grill, you can have four people sitting around the grill and having your own little section to cook what you like. So if you don't want pork, you can just add some of the beef. If you don't want the spring onions, you can just add the mushrooms. So speaking of mushrooms, I'll add some shiitakes. I've just rehydrated my shiitakes in some warm water for about 15 minutes and taken away the woody stalk. They can also go on our grill you can see it's starting to take shape now. And now for the meat, because it's so thin, it doesn't take long at all to cook. So on with pieces of marinated pork belly. And we'll just do a few pieces at a time, along with our beef. And the beef is so tender, I wanna keep it slightly rare in the center. All right, so we're gonna give that a few minutes on each side. We can keep turning it until it's caramelized. You can also see that I'm not overcrowding the flat plate because the whole point of this is to cook small batches and eat as soon as it comes off the grill and then do another batch.
Okay, this meat is caramelised. Look how soft my spring onions are. It smells so good. Now, to serve this, some butter lettuce leaves. You can also use iceberg lettuce. And then some hot, steamy rice in the base of it. Don't put too much. I always do that and it overflows. And then the most famous fermented food from Korea, that would be some kimchi, which is just fermented cabbage with chilli and lots of garlic. We'll add that. Then I'll add some spring onions. And then I'm going to start off with some crispy pork. Look at that, caramelised, yummo. A little in there. And then for some extra flavour, some dark soy, just a small amount, and some crunchy bean sprouts. And then what you do with this is wrap it up and dig in. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. You know, meat coming straight off the grill like that. It's piping hot and all those flavours and juices going into the rice, absolutely delicious. You know what, forget about going to the Korean barbecue. Bring the Korean barbecue to your house. The only thing that's missing here is a bit of that Korean pop music. I love that stuff. Maybe we can play in the background. So good.